Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we are going to look at sine, cosine, and tangent of angles. Just the basic setup and what, ratio, what the ratios mean and where the sides are. So the sine of an angle, and I'm just going to call this angle A for right now, is equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Then the cosine, I'm going to take the cosine of angle D, and I, the cosine would be the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And then the tangent is going to be the tangent of E. The tangent is going to equal the opposite side over the adjacent side. So we're going to look at three different triangles and three different ratios and how to look at opposites and adjacents. Okay, so we're going to start with angle A. Angle A, we're going to take the sine of that. Well, we need to know opposite and adjacent. That's the hardest thing for students is to figure out which sides are which. Well, what I always do is I identify my hypotenuse first and I go ahead and label it. Well, I know that is my hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. Now, your adjacent and your opposite are going to change depending on your perspective. If you're looking from A, you've got an opposite side, and then you have an adjacent side. But if you're looking from angle B, you've got an opposite side and an adjacent side. So it changes based on where you are. So what I always do is that since we're looking from angle A, I mark the angle. Then I draw a line across the triangle. This opposite side across from angle A is often called little a because it's associated back to the angle A, but this is the opposite side. So I've identified my opposite and my hypotenuse so I can actually set a ratio up. So now let's give them lengths. Let's say that this opposite side is 8 and this hypotenuse is 10. I can now write this ratio as the sine of A is equal to the length 8 over the length 10. So my opposite over my hypotenuse. Now let's look at the cosine of an angle. Okay, now we're going to take the cosine of D. So I've got to change my perspective. I have to start over here at the acute angle D and I have to find my, and I'm just going to write adjacent over hypotenuse to bring that down for us. That's the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So I'll, let me go ahead and give each side a length. Let's say that this side is three, this side is four, and this side is five. I know that's a right triangle because that's one of our triples, but the adjacent side, I've got to identify it. So to start, remember here's our right triangle, so that means this side right here is our hypotenuse. So label it first, it's opposite the right angle. Now, from angle D, the side that measures 3, that is my opposite side. And in cosine, I don't need that side. I don't even need the side 3. I'm going to use the ratio of the other two sides. Well, if this side is opposite, this one's a hypotenuse. The only one left over is the adjacent side. And that makes sense. It's adjacent or next to angle D. So my adjacent over my hypotenuse would be the ratio of these two sides. So the cosine of D would equal 4 over 5. Okay, now let's go down and look at a tangent. Tangent of E is going to be the ratio of opposite over adjacent. Tangent is the one trig function that does not use the hypotenuse. So let's start at angle E. So we're starting from this angle, so let's mark the angle. I'm going to give you lengths of sides, 7, 24, and 25. Those three sides form a right triangle. Okay, so I need to set up the opposite over the adjacent. I'm not going to use my hypotenuse, and that's the easiest one to identify. So let's look at a right angle. The 25 is opposite that, so that's my hypotenuse. And in this problem, I'm not even going to use it, so I'm just going to exit out for a minute. 
Okay, now from angle E, I'm going to draw across the triangle. That is my opposite side. 24 is my only other side. It's the adjacent, and yes, it does help form the angle E. It's one of the sides of E. So my ratio would be the tangent of E is equal to 7 over 24. And that's how you'd set that tangent ratio up, and that's how you find your opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse for each of these triangles. Hope this video was helpful.